Hey, good morning, Choice Residential. Hope your day is off to a great start. Today, I want to talk about the concept of the as-is sale. So, of course, we're seeing this a lot where buyers are including addenda. Heck, we have copies of uh, similar addenda in dot loop where they are saying, hey, I'm going to I'm going to buy the house and I'm not going to ask for any repairs or concessions for repairs. So that's good in terms of setting the expectation that they don't intend to do that. Keep in mind, of course, the buyer could still terminate because of a bad inspection and um, the addendum doesn't prevent them from terminating the contract. But I also want to point out one really key point that can be confusing. And that is if you look at paragraph 11 of the offer to purchase, it says that the home needs to be in substantially the same or better condition at the time of closing as it was when the original offer was made. So even though the seller and the buyer have agreed that the buyer is not going to ask for any repairs, the seller is not going to make any repairs, that doesn't eliminate the seller's responsibility to deliver the house in the same or better condition as it was at the time of closing. So that means if some system in the home that was working when the offer was made stops working, then it is the seller's responsibility to fix it. So let's say the buyer goes to do their final walkthrough and the HVAC is not working. Well, if it was working when they made their original offer, then it's the seller's responsibility to get it working again. Similarly, let's say that um, a rock was kicked through a window uh, while the yard was being mowed. And it wasn't like that when they made the offer, but it happened during the escrow period. It is the seller's responsibility to resolve that. So um, just keep that in mind. Make sure your sellers are understanding of that when they are accepting an offer that says it's as is or that the buyer is not going to make any repairs. It does not absolve them of their responsibilities in paragraph 11 of the offer to purchase. So make sure you're reviewing that. If you have any questions about that, obviously reach out. We'd love to chat through it with you. Make sure you've got clarity on it so that you can clearly explain it to your sellers. All right. Until next time, take care.